How many days do you guys think have passed since this shooting happened? How many days have passed since the shooting happened? Now, it couldn't have been one day. Y'all gonna say it couldn't be one day, TP, because they already had the funeral and everything. So it had to be a couple of days. And it was at least one day from Meech going from St. Louis, I mean, from Atlanta to St. Louis. Because Atlanta to Kansas City, I used to drive Atlanta to Kansas City is 12 hours. So eight hours to St. Louis. And we know it's an eight-hour drive from Detroit to St. Louis because old boy wrecked the truck. Two weeks. All right, we'll just do two weeks. I, I could have sworn I heard like two weeks also. But Jen's mistake is, no matter how much time passed, why is his blood still on the carpet? Why has blood been on the carpet for two weeks? Not blood droplets. Why is there a puddle of blood still on the floor and your dad is cleaning it up while you're writing in your journal? I wouldn't even be cleaning this up. With that amount of blood, this rug, we rolling this rug up, we throwing this rug out. We ain't even putting this rug in our in our, in our trash, like in the trash area. We're going to take this down the street to one of those alleys and we're going to donate it to the bums. We're going to throw that motherfucker out of there. Yeah, your house was a crime scene, but it's been a week and a half, two weeks. Forensics have been through here. We got a dead body. Look how Jen, look, look at Jen, though. It's a crime scene, but Jen's over there with her feet up and she's sitting like this. Dear Diary. I lost another, hmm, no, I'm going to say another. Dear Diary, today as I sit here with the, the scent of blood in the air, I realize that my father is the only one in my corner. Emerson, she was, she was like a sister to me, but instead of popping her cherry, they popped her cherry. I was supposed to be the cherry popper, but they popped her cherry. Like, man, crime scene or not, get this shit up. The blinds are all toe up. Man, I would have been, I don't even know what they got up there, but what was around back then? Ain't wasn't no Home Depots. Man, what, man, man I would have had the blinds closed. You had to get all new windows. Damn. That's the first mistake, leaving that blood down there. Ace Hardware. Hey, you know, someone tried to scam me from Ace Hardware. I've been getting emails. Well, not anymore. Back in like 2018, I was getting emails from Ace Hardware, but I hadn't been in Kansas City since I moved out of Kansas City in 2009. I've never moved back. Well, except for these last couple of months before I relocated over here, but I wasn't really living there. But I was always getting emails and like invoices. Somebody had tried to use my car at Ace, uh, Ace Hardware one day. I had a call and I'm like, hey, nigga. The fuck? I'm in Arizona, bro. Oh, well, your car is on foul. Like, hey, nigga, my car ain't on no, no foul. Take this shit off of there. My dad used to go to Ace Hardware, but he never used my car. So I don't know how they got that shit, but it is what it is. I got it off of there, though. Now, her dad, he looks like he plays in Shogun, but... He's the only one that Jen has in her corner. Now, what would we say is the mistake? Is trying to go after Henry by herself a mistake? Or will we say working with Brian? Which one would be the bigger mistake? Because, I mean, she did, she did make it happen with Henry. Now, this could get ugly for her. 
it could get ugly for her eventually, but as of right now, it's working out. Unless if she can get Henry to come over and have some one on one, and then Brian shows up and they take take her out that way. Equal mistakes. Cause wait a minute, where is where is Blondie? They say blinds have more fun. I never understood that. Like blinds have more fun. When did she go after Henry? Oh, it was towards the end. Okay, it was after Vince. Now, do you think? Well, this is just this is really a more of a mistake on Henry for being thirsty. Jen is just doing undercover, but Henry ain't do like no kind of investigating. We already know that this nigga Lenny had been jammed up. Remember, in Detroit, no disrespect to my Detroit players, but in Detroit, a popsicle, uh, a glizzy, uh, some ice cream, strawberry shortcake, that'll get niggas to flip over there. No disrespect to my niggas in Detroit, but Lenny, remember, they kicked in Lenny's door, and they said they was going to get some strawberry shortcake. This nigga is trying to set Henry up for some strawberry shortcake and to get a plea agreement, a little plea deal. Hey, if you guys are Lenny, if you guys are Lenny, are y'all doing this? Are y'all risking, like, bringing her here? Or, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't I don't believe in like that 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 setting people up or like snitching stuff. I don't do no crimes to this level, to this extent where I would need to do any of this, but I don't believe in potentially risking my life. Like, if I'm gonna help Jen out, not saying that I would, but come on, man, this is risky as hell. Because if Henry lives, she's gonna be like, Lenny, you were the one that introduced me to that woman. This is like this is risky as hell. <laughs> yeah, Jen is suspended right now. So Jen is doing this all on her own. What's up, Alicia? Now you right on time. You good. Jen is suspended. She's doing this on her own. So that means she had a body. Hey, did y'all think y'all think Jen had this wig already? Y'all think Jen already had this wig and she just went to buy for this undercover? Be real. I think Jen was already a little freak on the side. So I think she may have already had this wig just in you're know, seeing in the in the in the storage. I'm thinking Jen already had this lined up. Like, this is in the house. She was just waiting to bring it out. It's just, she's been working on the force so long. She's been working on the force so long, she never had an opportunity to bring out that side. So I'm going to go ahead and say that Jen had that mug already, man. See, I don't know. I know we talking about Jen and her mistakes. I don't really think Jen made any mistakes because we still don't know what name she gave. She's working with Bryant. Now, the mistake might be working with Bryant. Bryant might be the one to fuck this up. I mean, we do. This is what we talk about with the known unknown. We know that Bryant is going to survive. We don't know if Jen is going to survive. So maybe Jen tries to set this shit up and Bryant tries to because remember, Brian said, next time you meet with her, let me know before. Oh, man, Brian might get Jen killed. Oh, they got a Hennessy bottle back here, too. Y'all see that? They got the Hennessy bottle back here. Oh, man. Could Brian be the one to make this whole operation crumble?
Yeah, Deacon, but you you know how co-workers are. You know, you get, you really can't say a co-worker's a freak. Yeah, you know I mean, a co-worker, that's just natural. Like, that 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 just, not saying you should mess with your co-worker, but I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying, most of the time, you can always knock down a co-worker. Y'all around each other so much, it's like, all right, we got to cooperate. It's rather we like each other than disagree with each other. Plus, when you at work with somebody, you like number three, number four anyway. You know what I'm saying? But when you're on the force, you got to understand. Detective Brian's wife left him. We don't know who Jen was really involved with. It's like, you know, sometimes it be like that. Imagine it's a Tuesday night. Y'all ain't got nothing going on. You and Jen, y'all undercover. Y'all on the stakeout. Y'all got some food. You doze off. You wake up. She talking to you. Because I had a situation like that before. I remember I was out with this one girl. Well, this happened multiple times. I was out with this one girl. We out, we chilling, and we talking. Man, I didn't doze off while she's talking to me. I woke up, she's still talking. I don't remember what the fuck she was talking about. Man, that shit happens more often than you think, man. I'm an old nigga, so I be falling asleep. They be talking. I be like, yep, mm mm-hmm. I wake up, did you fall asleep? Nah, they just keep talking. I don't remember what the hell they talking about, so I got to change the subject so it'll be something I know we talking about. Man, that that be the you looking like what you say? No, nah, I, I wasn't sleep. No, 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 no. I heard what you said here. Hey, y'all know y'all ain't never had that before. You ain't never been out with somebody and they talking to you. And it's not that they born or anything. You just doze off. You like. And it's kind of dark. So you really can't see if a nigga is up or not. But they just talking. And I wake up and they just still talking. I'm like, damn, I, I don't even know what we talking about right now. I'm just saying. See, Matthew, you know, look, Miss Zoe, you know, you be in there sleeping like, damn. You wake up. It ain't like you sleep, sleep. You just took like a six minute nap. <laughs> you just took like a five to six minute. Yeah, damn, that's crazy for real. Now nah, I don't even know why they be at for real. That's messed up. Nah, I couldn't even see myself doing nothing like that. You ain't even. You don't even know what's going on. But these are just generic things that you can say to just try to figure out what the hell is going on. It's kind of like a psychic. You know, a psychic to say, "Hey, did you have a rough day today?" And you'd be like, "Yeah, I did." Well, tomorrow's going to be better. Oh, for real? It's, it's just bullshit. But that's all it is. You just wake up and just get back into the comments. Damn, I, nah, I couldn't see him. Nah, damn, you, you, and you got to flip it back on them, too. So do you think, do you think if the situation was different, what would you do? So now they're going to retell, you're going to retell you everything that they just said. They're going to give it from their perspective. So now, it's like, oh, okay. Oh, no, nah, I wouldn't do nothing like that. <laughs> That's how it was. So Brian and Jen were out and about, you know what I'm saying, on the stakeout. He dozed off. Jen's talking to him about, like, old cases that she did. He wake up. And it's like, well, you know, I don't know if it's hay fever or it's the pollen, but Detective Jen looking a little good tonight. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Detective Jen looking a little good tonight. I'm looking like, okay, I see why... I see why Brian did what Brian did. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Not nah, cure. That ain't game. That's just life. That's just life. That's just life. You know me. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you true stories, man. But I'm waking up and I roll over and I see Jen with the the, the red lipstick, the thin lips, and the in the blonde wig. I'm like, huh? well, uh, what time it is? Ten thirty nine. Y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. My name is Modi J. This is Monday Mistakes. And I'm looking at Detective Chin like. Hmm. Uh, I ain't even going to bullshit you or nothing, Chin. Like, you know, I've been feeling you for a while and shit. You know, we've been getting closer and closer. I know I've been peeping you, peeping me. You know what I'm saying? Why are you over there looking at me while my girl's standing there? You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at Detective Jen. I just woke up off this stakeout. She's talking to me about some bullshit. I'm like, okay, this wig ain't too bad on you, girl. 
And then And then she came and put that hand on his back. What y'all know about? Y'all know about Charles and the Charles and Mr. Mr. Finger going across the body. You, 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 you. She put that hand on his back. Hey, I say, don't threaten me with a good time. Don't threaten me with a good time. Jenny showed up in here smelling like liquor. Oh, oh. That nigga Brian said, keep him flowing. Keep him flowing. Look, Jen, oh. Whenever you get them, whenever you get them laughing like that, where they doing the, <laughs> when the head start tilting back and laughing, brother, you were on the right path. Now make sure it's consensual, but you were on the right path. You get them laughing, cool. But when you get them to, <laughs> the head start tilting back, the back of their head touching the, their shoulder, <laughs> my brother, she feeling the nigga. They ain't laughing that hard for niggas they ain't interested in. Nah, 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 nah. If they if they ain't interested in you, this is how you know if a woman ain't interested in you. If you getting them to laugh. Whenever they do the laugh, when they gotta cover their face, they ain't interested in you. When they pull their head back, <laughs> they fucking with you. See, I'm a <laughs> type of nigga. Y'all the <laughs> they don't want you to <laughs> it's a fake laugh. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You gotta get it with the head. <laughs> <laughs> nah, see you y'all don't I, I listen i know how to make people laugh well yeah like tp said when they do that <laughs> you got them but when they do the <laughs> they ain't fucking with you like that now if you can get the <laughs> with a hand on the shoulder Nigga, you winning. <laughs> Why you stand up now? Do you stand up talk to me? Nigga, you got that funny. No, I don't, man. I just be talking. And sometimes it comes out funny, but I be trying to be serious, but people be thinking me as a joke. Or they do the knee grab. You don't let go my knee. You like... <laughs> this nigga Mo is funny. Uh, I don't get no fake laughs. Once I see a fake laugh, I stop talking to him. If you ain't laughing at my shit, then that got to go. I got to go. I'm just saying. Detective Jen's mistake is fucking with this nigga Bryant, bro. She didn't came back over here because, listen, she suspended. This nigga fired. She didn't lost a partner. She trying to get with Henry, and she know, well, from what we've seen with Henry and uh, Peaches, that might be pause on this. That might be too much for Detective Jen. So Detective Jen's coming back over to Brian. We know Henry is a little bit different when she get in that bedroom. I'm just saying, from what we saw, this ain't me making nothing. From what we saw, it's unfortunate. I seen it. Y'all seen it. We all seen it. We all adults. It is what it is. But Jen ain't ready for all of that. So that's why she came back to Brian, because she ain't got nowhere else to go. Her house smelling like blood. So I'm just saying. You know, say no, I don't. Sometimes it's game from the woman's point of view. Hey, well, run your game on me. I'm a full court type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm full court press. You want to play the game? Let's go. Let's play the game. I'm down to play the game too. Forty two. Talking about going deep. Case of five month old Jemiah Julius. You are not the father. That's one thing about me, Kendall. I can play the game too. I can play the game too. Case of five month old Jemiah Julius. You are not the father. We straight killers, yo. Nigga, it's just big me, nigga. Bum. I'm really like that. <laughs> All right, y'all. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. I'm going to get out. I do got to. I gotta, I gotta take some meds, man. I thought I was gonna be able to thug it out, but nah, man. I, I got, cause I keep turning the camera off. Like, man, I gotta, man. Come on, bro. Hey, but now hit that like button, hit that subscribe button tomorrow. Um, what's tomorrow? It's supposed to be Tubi. Oh, so tomorrow I might do some articles. Tomorrow we might do the Mo. You know, Wednesday we definitely got to do Shogun, cause we all the way up to episode nine. So I'm gonna try to piece all of that together from six to nine. But tomorrow we're gonna probably do the Mo. You know, we're gonna probably talk about Trump. 
Uh, we're going to see if there's any updates on the two women that were kidnapped in Kansas. I, th I think they found two bodies today. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about Trump's uh, jury selection. So we got a few things. We'll probably do the more you know tomorrow. But hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you all for joining the live. Uh, we're going to get back on this schedule, man. It's just, just a lot of shit. We're going to have that break in between BMF. Well, we're really not going to have a break break. We'll have a break in between BMF and Ghost, but we got the shot coming up. Next week, we got... um. Next week, we got them season two. So we got.